Uh, this is Matt with Lady Obscure and I'm here with Orden Ogan who just made their US debut at Frog Power USA in Atlanta, Georgia. Say hi guys. Hello. Hello. I just wanted to say first of all you guys had an amazing set and the reaction from the crowd was incredible. So how did it feel playing your first show ever in the US? <laughs> He's speechless. Uh, that's what I am too. It was a blast, really. Yeah. We um, were told that this festival uh, has a really good crowd, but you never know until you're there. And it was really the best uh, first show we could have to play in the US, I think. Well, I think it, it definitely went well, I thought. Uh, any uh, any last minute glitches or anything that you were uh, afraid of happening? or? Uh, there was the thing with the power, you know, because we've got different sockets in Europe and stuff like that and we yes. were not really sure if all our gear would function properly here because we're not playing with all the, the normal ampads, we got our own uh, camper profiling amplifiers. Yes. So it's di digital amps, and uh, but everything went well, yeah. Great, that's good to hear. Uh, now, how long did it take for you to, to get over here for your flight? Was it a, a long flight? It was a really long flight, uh, nine hours. Nine hours, uh, straight, straight through. Yes. Uh, Two hours of sleep the night before. Ah. Uh, yes. And so when did you get in? Right before the, the, the day before your show, or? Uh, yeah, yeah. We were here one day early. Uh, so you had a little chance to yeah, little decompress. Chance, yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Now I hear you have uh, plans for a new album. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how's it gonna be compared to the last album? A little, some changes or? Yes, maybe. Still one of the others. <laughs> well, I think there are um, some changes in songwriting, and I don't know how to say it, but. It's different, but it's still on an organ, I think. Yes. I think people will get what they expect from an organ, organ record, but um, maybe it seems better in explaining it. Yeah, I think the difference is when we did East Nob, for example, it was such a yeah more progressive record, you know, like the, the, the song East Nob contains, I don't know, like 32 different parts or whatever, and there's always something changing. And we, when we did the, um, the To The End record, the latest one, we scaled that back a little bit. And Try to focus a little bit more on the on the choruses. That is what what makes power metal power metal. I think yes. you know, and uh, also scaled back the orchestration a little bit. Um, and we realized that it it felt really good to to lose some weight, you know, musically. And um, also the the reception of the fans was a, was was even better than East Nob. I mean, East Nob was it was a very good record for us. You know, went really well. But to the end, what it was even better. And this time we um, we had a different approach to song songwriting because normally I start with, with a riff or an, some other idea whatever this time I just started with all the choruses yes which I, which I never did before you know they, the songs developed into choruses before this time I started with that and also to the end was basically just basically just me working on it the time was, was different because I worked a lot on the drum parts and also on, on, on rhythmical stuff and riffs with Dirk, the drummer who's, who's not playing any harmonic instrument like guitar or whatever, just the drums. Uh -huh. So he has got a very different, very different approach uh, to, to work with music. Also there's one song that is uh, almost completely from Niels that was uh, never the case before on any <laughs> other record. <laughs> 
<laughs> there was stuff that was. Which, and which one was that? Uh, yeah, the, the name is not set. <laughs> not set yet. Okay. Uh, I I can definitely tell you that with with to the end. Uh, I I agree with the choruses. They're huge choruses. Sing along, and that's what I think makes your band so much fun to watch live. Is people get uh, into the music and the choruses, and they can raise their fists. And we'll work even better with the new one. Great. We're really looking forward to play that song oh, live. Great to hear. Yeah, I I I love the last album, and uh, I think that with this show. So here at Prod Power USA, I, I feel that you guys are going to get more exposure, and uh, hopefully we can get you here on a t on a U.S. tour. Absolutely, awesome. eventually, because a lot of the bands that play here eventually get the next level where they, they can latch on to a, a tour as an opener first, and then maybe a small headline tour. Uh, uh, hopefully that will be the case with you guys. Yeah, we're thinking about that for, yeah. for a longer time now. So that's great. I, I, I really hope it works out for you uh, as far as that because as a talented band, I think more the, more of the European bands need to get over here because the American market is, is in desperate need of real metal <laughs> brought over here again. That's what most of the business guys in Europe say. and <laughs> that They also say that it's very difficult in America to establish a band. You know, yes. So that's why they all say that just focus on Europe first, and if that works, maybe we can take a look at America. That's what most people say. But I had the impression from the beginning that Ornogan could be a band that could work really well here in the States. Mm -hmm. Because I was here before with uh, with a band called Sudakra. Yes. 2010, mm -hmm. and uh, the reactions to those three European bands were really great. So I, uh, yeah, I had the impression that this is something that could work here. Yeah. That's great. I, I, uh, I wanted to ask you about the actual show, uh, your actual set. Uh, how did you feel when you went up on stage and saw the reaction, the crowd getting into the songs and chanting along? What did you? How did you feel at that moment? Did you realize that? Okay, we're finally here. I was more like, is this real? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, when the, were you happy at the end uh, with totally. the, the reception? And totally, yeah. How has it been being in Atlanta, uh, being with the fans and getting to know the people here at the festival? And, I think uh, Toby said something uh, this morning like, what was the word, oversaturation now? <laughs> because <laughs> Absolutely. Just too much from everything. Too much of everything? <laughs> too much drink? Too much? No, not from me. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's one thing this festival is known for, is the after parties. Yeah, we heard about that. <laughs> There's a banana that, picture. Oh, yeah. yes, the famous nanners. Uh, <laughs> so you've been uh, you've been nannerized for for immortality on Facebook oh, with okay. the bananas. I, 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 didn't, I didn't see it. <laughs> the picture. We'll have to post a picture. Maybe <laughs> They have they have some uh, a picture of you with some bananas. It's a joke at the festival. No uh, problem. <laughs> where somebody that that gets really drunk where he can't move and then they put a, a bunch of bananas yeah. next to them and that's been a running joke at the festival for a few years now but, so you're you're the <laughs> you're the uh, the the next recipient of the Nanners Award. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> but what I noticed on this festival is that uh, nearly everybody uh, I spoke to knew about our band, and, and uh, everybody seems to um, uh, look up the bands on the internet when they are announced, and they really listen to stuff, and they uh, they want to know about the bands that are here. Yes. Germany or maybe in Europe, Europe, Europe it's something that's sometimes like. Like, uh, oh, let's go to the festival. There are one or two bands I want to see, and the rest I don't care. Maybe you have luck and you you discover a new band. Yeah. yeah. 
with this, I think with this festival, it's a, a, a discovering new bands. You might not know uh, the bands at first, but then you have a whole year to research and learn about them. I remember when they announced the lineup last year and your name came up on the video screen, there was a huge cheer. <laughs> so I can I can definitely say that people were excited right from the start, and uh, as it was as was I, and, and I think Carl Frederick from Metal Underground was yeah. probably the most excited. I think he uh, I think he might have uh, had an accident in his pants when, <laughs> when you guys were. Well, he, he told me yesterday he was he was screaming, and um, <laughs> when it came to uh, putting the sponsors on the list for the different bands, you yes. know. He was like talking to Glenn. Was like, hey, why did you, why didn't you talk to me? And Glenn was like, yeah, I put you on the list for Outlaw already. So. <laughs> I heard you scream. <laughs> well, Carl, Carl's a, a fellow journalist and a good friend, so uh, I, I laughed when he told me that story too. But uh, now, what's next for Orden Dogan when you go back, back home? What, what's next this for the uh, the rest of the the, the Year. Is it We're still more, still more in the studio at the moment. More shows? No more shows. No more shows. Okay. Just getting the record ready now yeah. because we're already late, as always, <laughs> <laughs> always late. And so yeah, in the end of the year, video shoot and photos, all that stuff. And yeah, interviews. Mm -hmm. yeah, the I, I, you've been doing a lot of those today. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> now, how is it working with AFM? <laughs> Make sure Dustin can hear. <laughs> No, it's doing great with AFM uh, for, uh, for basically one reason, and that's uh, that a lot of people, and especially our A&R, Timo, is, are huge fans of Orton Oren in, yes. in that label. And uh, especially Timo is, meanwhile, he's a really good friend of mine. We almost uh, are on the phone almost every day. Each day? Every day? Each day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, that's a uh, luxury. So you, you, you don't have it, not every band will have it like this, you know. Yes. And uh, so he's, he's working his ass off to get the band uh, bigger, make the band bigger. And so, yeah. Excellent. I, well, I want to tell you that uh, AFM is, you know, I was glad to do this interview with you guys because AFM is a great label. They, you know, they really do believe in their bands and, and especially with Orton Ogan. I think that, that uh, they really want you guys to succeed. And I think that's what's good about AFM and you guys together is they, they want you to succeed. So I'm really I'm really glad to hear that everything went well. Awesome. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed the set. I thought it was it was fantastic. I thought you had a great rapport with the audience back and forth. They, they were laughing and uh, you know when you were doing your when you play the black metal uh, festivals. Now do you really play black metal festivals? <laughs> black metal festivals, but, but festivals in general. Germany tend to be very mixed. Yeah. You got everything. You can you can on the, on the bigger stages you can have death metal, power metal, folk metal, black metal after uh, you know in a, in a row. So yeah. So it's it's so it's kind of a mixed bag and, and whether it's some they can have people that are metal snobs and they don't <laughs> they don't really get the power metal or you know you have the black metal with the corpse paint. But uh, yeah. So in in this festival it's. You know, strictly, it's not strictly power metal or pro progressive metal, but it seems to all go together and flow. And you guys, I think one of the strongest sets I've seen. I've come here for five years, so I think it's one of the strongest sets I've seen. Thank you, man. So, thanks a lot. I, I just want to say thank you so much. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you've been doing a lot of interviews, but. Uh, actually, this is the first today. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's keep going. No. <laughs> but, but uh, I just want to say thank you very much and I, I wish you the best of luck and uh, hopefully we'll see you here in the U.S. again very soon. We hope so too. So too. Okay, take care and uh, this is Matt from Lady Obscure and with Orton Ogan and thanks again and uh, we'll see you soon. Yes.